My name is Alexander Santos, and I train at Gracie Barra, South Austin, Texas. I started training in September 1996. You know, like uh, the the old jiu-jitsu cliche story, you know, like some friends got a hold of that first UFC tape with Horace Gracie, you know, doing great, and I never saw anything like that before. And, you know, the guy was Brazilian, and everybody was like, man, you know, he's a man. new hero kind of thing. We need to all start doing that thing. And, you know, I went for my first class. My first academy was in Brasilia. I went to train at a school called, uh, academy called Dalmo Ribeiro. At the time, we had uh, the head instructor there was Professor Ailson Jucão. He's a Gracie Barra black belt, one of the greatest guard players I ever had the chance to, you know, see rolling and everything. He was very, very welcoming and, you know, a bunch of friends were already taking classes there. And I heard great things about this guy that moved from Rio de Janeiro, you know, to Brasilia, the capital of Brazil. And I decided to give it a try. You know, one of my best friends, Professor Fabio from Gracie Barra, Georgia, was already taking classes and he lost a lot of weight and he was like a, so strong and looking great, very healthy. He told me, man, you need to try this tank, and you know, I was like, all right, I'm gonna go there, and got hooked up since. Professor Jucão, you know, like I was teaching in Brasilia for a little while, you know, after like a five years training with him, I was a purple belt, Professor Fabio was a brown belt back then. Uh, he decided to go back to Rio de Janeiro, his hometown after, you know, developing and establishing his work in Brasilia. So he went back to Brazil, and that's when Professor Fabio went and contacted Master Carlos directly and said like, hey, since uh, our professor Jucão is going back to Rio de Janeiro, would you be fine with uh, us representing the brand still, even though we, we don't have a black belt here, I would be more like the, the head instructor as a brown belt and everything. And that's when Master Carlos dropped one of his, you know, very famous, like, uh, you know, phrase. And that he said, man, you know, in the land of blind people, who has one eye is the king, you know. And uh, if you are brown belt there and you, you're the most qualified guy to represent my name in the city, you're going to be the, the head instructor there. I don't care, you know, you keep on training, push those guys really hard. And you know, when it's time for brown belt or black belt promotions, you know, just let me know, fly the, guy, the guys out here to Rio de Janeiro, or I'm gonna go to Brazil myself and promote you guys, as long as you guys cool with, you know, respecting the rules and, you know, fighting hard like you always do, you're part of the family, you know. The key for this group of guys that I mentioned before, Gracie Barra Brasilia, we, we suffer a lot with, you know, our professor Jucão leaving town. We, we missed him dearly and it was very tough to, you know, find motivation to go to the room and not have that person, that mentor there to push you. And we definitely found motivation on each other, you know, like uh, trying to push one another and we, you know, kind of came together a little closer in a sense of, you know, checking up on one another, calling one another and making sure that, you know, we would push the training partners together, whether we were going for conditioning training or planning uh, a tournament ahead, you know, we, you know, carpooled, we, we had like, a, you know, three cars full of guys, you know, a bunch of strong muscle guys pushing each other in the back seat. And we drove for like a good 13, 14 hours from Brasilia to Rio de Janeiro. You know, needless to say, none of the cars had air conditioning or anything. So people were like sweating and like hot. You know, the opportunity presented itself, you know, for us to move to America and do Jiu Jitsu full time. And here we are, you know, representing Gracie Barra, black belts and happy. Okay, let's 
do it. Couple more. A minute and 45. What I like to, to get across to my students when I'm teaching techniques, when I'm teaching jiu-jitsu, is like this. You need to understand that you will get there. You might think that, you know, you, you tend to look at yourself and doubt yourself like this. Oh, that will be too challenging. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. He might be able to do it because he's a black belt, but I'm not. And what I try to teach uh, my students is the numbers will get you there. So don't worry about, you know, how you can perform something. Just get the job started. Build up your repetition. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And eventually you will get to the point that you wish. The biggest problem I see with uh, the learning process is when the person gets scared of learning, scared of trying and really f start from the point that I can't do that. When I teach my techniques, when I approach my students, that's the one thing that I'm trying to take away from the mind the most. It's like this, we will accomplish that, I will do the magic, you just need to trust me. Don't worry about making it look perfect right now. You don't have to know this. We will work on this together. I believe that I study the techniques with my students more than teach them. I sit down, I break down, and we go over through this. So when I'm teaching, whether it's a beginner, advanced, or a professional fighter, my goal with my teachings is to simplify things and make sure that the person will have a good time and understand that. I don't want nobody like a feeling like, oh no, my God, I can't do this. What we're gonna work on is like easier way, step by step, but my goal with my teachings is to make the person feel that they will do it. We will work on it, you know, no matter how long it takes, it might not be where we want right now, but the, the approach will be in a positive way always. Jiu-Jitsu, you know, it, it starts taking over your life, you know. You just wanna wake up and go back to it as soon as possible, every day, all day. It gets to a point that, you know, you don't do Jiu-Jitsu anymore. You leave Jiu-Jitsu, you wake up and you just go and work. I have to, to tell my students, you know, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to live my dream and, you know, to be a happy person, you know, to, to do what I love to do. The happiness and the, the, the feeling of, you know, teaching Jiu-Jitsu and, you know, like I said, living Jiu-Jitsu every day, it's unbelievable, you know, you can't compare with anything else. Backboard, same partner.